G'day guys and welcome back, it's Ruzini16 and I'm here of course to bring you another episode of the Viewers 11. Now, we got sent in a very, very interesting team, definitely the most unusual one we've got sent so far, but I'm really excited to get in and use it. As you can tell, it's got three rare silvers, two gold non-rares, five gold rares, and one in form. So we're going to jump across and show you the team right now. Now, as you can tell, it is an Ivory Coast team and it looks very damn sweaty. Now... I don't know half the players in this team, so correct me if I'm wrong if I do get the pronunciation of the names wrong. Now, this team is relatively cheap until you get to the two main players, which is Urias in form and Toure in the middle. Both cost, uh, Toure costs about, uh, what did I get him for? I think 30, 34k you can pick him up for, and Urias is about 54 as well. Other than that, the team's only probably worth 13k at best for the rest of the team, so it's very, very cheap. and. By the looks of it, it's going to be very sweaty. So we're gonna go through and show you the players. In net, we have Copa. Never really heard of him before. He's from the Pro League, but he looks like the best the Ivory Coast has to offer in the area of goals. As we hop into the right back, we do have Aurier, an absolutely insane right back. Definitely one of the best in the game. If you guys don't have the money and you do want to get this team, you can get his normal card. It's like a couple of K compared to his in form, which is 50K. As we move into the centre back, we do have Colo Toure. Pretty good, but past his time, to be honest, so he's not that fantastic, but he'll still do the job. Our other centre back is Bamba. Again, he's one I haven't really heard a lot about. He's in the, um, the championship, so he plays for Leeds, but it looks like a pretty good card, considering he's a silver defender. 84 physical, 72 pace, 74 defending. As we hop into the left back, we go into our gold non rare which is Boca, I want to say. Plays for Malaga. Again, he's got a really nice card and it's very, very even stat rounded. All in the 70s except for his shot, which is absolutely phenomenal. So I reckon he'll be a really good card to play with. As we hop into the midfield, we have Dai or D. Again, never really played with him. He's from the Bundesliga. He plays for Stuttgart. And again, a really nice rounded card. These Ivory Coast players seem to really have nice, even rounded cards. And that stands for this man as well, which is Czech Teote. Absolutely insane player. Probably prefer to play him as CDM, but we're going to have to deal with it and play him as the centre mid. Now the star of the team, Yaya Toure, absolutely insane card, insane player, worth every penny you are going to spend on him. Hopefully he earns his money worth in this team. As we move up to the front three, it is an absolute pace whore of a side with the lowest pace out of the three being 91 on Doombia, which is absolutely mental. Our first player at right forward is Math Mathias, Mathias Bolly. You can pick him up relatively cheap considering he's got 96 pace and he's got 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill, high attacking work rate, rest of his stats aren't that fabulous so maybe that's a contributing factor as to why he's not going for a whole lot. Left forward, ex-Arsenal man, Javinho, absolute pace whore again, hasn't got a lot else going for him except for maybe his dribbling, but we'll jump in and hopefully, although this strike force only has one 4 star skiller, hopefully we can get a few goals in because I'm pretty hopeless if I don't have my skill. But We've got enough pace behind him that we should be able to get something out of it. And the main man up front, Seydou Dumbia, absolute monster of a player. He's been absolutely sick in the previous FIFAs. Haven't used him in this one yet, so I'm excited to jump in and use him. So we're going to do the usual five games. I will see you guys after the three games if I think changes need to be made, but I don't think any changes can be made to this side to make it any better and trying to keep it an Ivory Coast team. So I'll probably see you guys after the five games. I hope you enjoy the hype. And so tell me straight, I won't go This is our time now, I'm sure Make no mistake That we are closer than we're far And praise for impact And fight your fears
I've got a question If you'd hear me out, out In your defense, you never had a chance And so tell me straight, I won't go This is our time now, I'm sure Make no mistake that we are closer than we're far Fight your fears, fight. Embrace for impact. 
Alright guys, so that does take us to the end. I only end up completing four games rather than five. Although it does say on these players that there was six games played. One was a rage quit instantly and the other one was um, I ran into the box straight away. Guys, Sly tackled me, got a red card and rage quit straight away again. So really we only played four games, but I thought there was enough highlights there and that don't want the video to drag on and get boring as it's already at 12 minutes without having the bloody last bit of me yapping on. So. <clears throat> This team, absolutely insane. One of the favourite team of the whole season by far. This is an absolutely mental team. Keep in mind, I did only play in the online friendly matches rather than the divisions. So we did come up against much, much easier opponents. But from the feeling I get when playing with this team, this team is easily a Division 1 winner. Easily. And you'll spend half the amount of money on this that you will on a lot of the teams you'll see in there as well. Especially in the likes of the right back in form, you, you could just get his normal card for a couple of K. Bam, so much cheaper. Yaya Toure is going to be your most expensive player at 34K, which is absolutely insane considering this team will win you Division 1 easily. The front three, absolutely insane. I'm actually, I'm actually going to go through and show you their stats to show what they did in four games. Not, not six as it says, but four. And I want you to just look at it. Javinho, six goals, five assists. Absolutely mental. Dumbia, four goals, one assist. Bolly, one goal, three assists. And then as you move into the midfield, one goal, two assists, D or die. Toure, four goals, one assist. And Teote, two goals, one assist. Absolutely insane considering that was four games worth and there was all those goals and assists. This team, definitely worth every penny you're gonna spend on it. And it's a really nice team to look at and play with. So I definitely recommend you guys going and getting this team if you're looking for something that will get you to Division One and win it and enjoyable to play with. Now you will get abusive messages as I did about being a pace whore and whatnot, but in winter the games, that's all that matters. If you're able to be a pace whore in a game where pace is the trait that's been taken out of the game, that's pretty bloody mental. But considering your lowest pace in the front three is 91, it's bound to happen. But that is gonna be it from me today, guys. Um, I don't have a squad builder lineup for tomorrow, so please leave comments below with a team because I would like to do it tomorrow. But other than that, that's gonna complete it from me today. Thanks a lot for coming and watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks.